everyone welcome back today i'm going to be talking about cars so as you can see this setup looks different if you've watched my past videos you can tell my car was different like this is a new car i recently traded in that old ford escape that car pissed me off so much i had so many issues with it and i kept just you know pushing it back because i thought that trading in the car was going to be a big issue and very complicated especially because i still owned a loan on it but it was very simple and i'm like you know what i need to make a video on this so other people know how easy it is to trade your car because it's not worth spending those extra hundred dollars to fix the new little issue and then it messes up again you know so yes i'm in a parking lot but the lighting's good so that's all that matters so I'm not going to go into detail on what I had issues I had with my car, but I'm going to be talking about buying and trading a new car, specifically if you have a loan. So I will explain later the whole loan issue, but it's really not complicated. So first step is knowing your stats, like know all the stats, make sure you have your information ready when you walk into that dealership, because if they see you're confused or unsure, they take that as an opportunity. That's like, okay, this person doesn't know what they're really doing or what they need, and I'm gonna give them what I want to give them so I make a better sale. You gotta be in that mindset. You have to be in that mindset, be ready, because it's like, yes, dealerships are nice, and some of the people that work there are nice, but trust me, they are trying to get money from you. They're trying to get as much money from you as possible. So go in there knowing your stats. So the first stat is gonna be to know how much your car is worth. That is like the most important thing is know how much your car is worth. There's websites like Kelly Blue Book, you can go on car gurus. You can also go on the dealership of whatever car you're looking at. Like if say if you want Toyota or Honda, you could put in the information for your car and they'll give you an estimate of how much that dealership would give you. And this is important. So when you go to the dealership and they give you a certain number, it needs to be within the frame. So for me, my car, they gave me an estimate of 6,100, 6,100 to 6,800. And so I went to one dealership and they were like, we'll give you five grand. And I was like, skirt, we're done here we're done here and i was like you can't go up a little he's like nope only five grand i was like thank you thank you for the, your time but i gotta go because that's not five because five grand this is why you don't this is why you don't do this shit in a parking lot anyways five grand funny funny but this is why it's important to know your worth because when I went to another dealership, and this is the one that I actually bought the car that I traded in my car, their first initial offer was, we'll give you $6,500. That is perfectly between the two numbers I need. And I always do more than one website to figure out your car's worth, just so you know. Because you can't trust only one site or one dealership. You can't. You gotta look around and get your estimates that's what you gotta do so know your worth know what's wrong with the car if there's any issues with the car know that before you go because they're going to ask about issues with the car or anything big that was changed or fixed with the car in the past know how much the car is worth and next is loan next is the loan part so the way loans work is say your car so my car was worth six thousand five hundred that's how much the dealership was going to give me I had 6,800 left to pay for the loan. So how it is, is if your loan is higher than how much the car is worth, then that's a negative equity. So they're gonna minus that from the new deal you're getting. Because basically they're buying you out so you don't have to worry about the new loan with this car anymore. So my car was 6,800. They gave me 6,500. So what was left to pay from the loan was 300 so they basically pay it off the whole thing and then they add that extra 300 to your new loan with them the other way that it works is if my if the car is worth 6,500 they're going to give me and my loan is 6,000 that means I have a positive equity and I'm going to get $500 taken out of the new loan so that's how it works 
So that's why that's important to know your loan because then you have to take that into account. If your loan is higher than what all these websites and dealerships are saying they'll give you for your car, you need to take that into account. So say I only had a small difference. Some people could probably have like a $2,000 difference and you need to be prepared to look for a car that you can still afford and don't be shocked when they add 2000 onto that new loan because you haven't paid it off and the new the old car you have isn't worth enough if that makes sense but that's the whole loan ordeal but usually when you go to dealerships they handle everything they should handle everything well and you just need to bring all your paperwork so that's what part of the next step which is going to sell the car you need to act like you're a car salesman yourself because your car is worth something. It may be worth 500, it may be worth 10,000, it doesn't matter. Your car is worth something and they know that. And you need to be there ready to bargain. You shouldn't be like, just take any first offer. Like I, I made sure I was like, you got any extra deals? And I was able to get extra 500. So basically my car was fully covered. You need to go in there like your car is worth stuff. You need to make sure you're selling your worth and be be positive be confident in how you're selling it too because they pick up on that and they will read social cues and they'll be like mm, i think i could lowball this person they'll still you know take the deal so be ready for that but you will be especially now if you know all your information you know your stats you know how much your car is worth how much your loan is when you walk in there it's going to be 10 times better because they'll be like okay this person came prepared so let me be on their level because they obviously know what they're about to be doing even if you don't just act like you do just act like you do another tip to know is as you're doing this make sure you have your paperwork because i i have heard things people not knowing you know the information about their loans and they need that they need to know where your loan is what bank it's with and they need all your paperwork from your old car too make sure you have the keys for the new your old car if you have extra keys they're gonna ask for that and want that like make sure you have your paperwork ready especially a lot of people when you get the car there's usually a pamphlet you know for that car and make sure you have that ready to give to them also because they need that. There's a lot of things that they're gonna need, but they should like have a checklist to be like, you have this, you have that, you have that. Next, I also wanna say is, this is key, this is key, important. Log on to wherever you paid your old loan a couple days after you do your deal, after you got the new car. Make sure to log on and make sure to know that your old loan has been fully paid off because there are some dealerships or some places that will forget they'll mess things up there'll be wrong communication and it'll still be your old loan somehow is still getting interest make sure your old loan has been zeroed out because that is a very big deal and you don't want it to be years later and somehow there's still money that you need to pay in that or the dealership messed up and they're like this is years later how did you not like make sure a couple days to a week later make sure to look and see if anything has changed if your loan for your old past loan has been zeroed out because that is what is important but other than that that's all the tips it's so simple they handle it you go in you sit down you say i'm gonna trade you tell them how much it's worth they give you your deal and you go from there but it's very so simple and I'm so mad that I waited so long to do this process. Like I just, I kept holding it off and kept paying extra money on this car, the old car, and it wasn't worth it. So don't be scared, just do your research, look look everything up and go to a good dealership. I, I advise, usually, especially if you're changing the car and something's wrong with that one, do not go to a little lot place. Go to Toyota, go to Honda, go to Bach, go to those real places. places. They will handle everything perfectly. And that is 10 times better. Do that. And I realized that do not hold it off. Get the new car, trade it in. It is not worth it. It's not worth it. Trade it in, trade it in okay thanks uh but hit that subscribe button thanks for watching and